Okay, we want to find the limit as theta goes to zero of theta over sine theta. So this problem, to do this limit, we can't evaluate it directly because as theta goes to zero, sine theta goes to zero, and theta goes to zero. So I end up with zero over zero, which is an indeterminate form. So I'm going to have to, I can't just, just substitute in zero and find out what that limit is. I'm going to have to do some other work. So let me show you how to go about this problem. I'm going to draw angle theta right here. And then I'm going to go out to the terminal side of theta, and I'm going to find the point that's one unit away from the vertex right here. So that's one, and I'm going to draw this little right triangle in. Now if I say what's the sine of theta, okay, it's going to be the ratio of this side to this side. Well, this side is one, so the sine of theta and this side are exactly the same thing. So let me write that in. This is sine theta. So that length of that side is sine theta. Then I'm going to also say, okay, what about there's a circle with a radius of 1 where that's the center of the circle. I'm going to just kind of draw that circle in right here and see where it crosses that side. Now that length right there, because that's a radius in the circle, must also be 1. So when I think of the radian measure for sine theta, for theta right here, this is angle theta right here, which is the ratio of the length of that arc to the radius of the circle, it's s over r, that means that the length of that arc must be theta. So that's theta. Let me draw that a little smaller right there. Let me draw it down here. There's theta right there, the length of that arc. Now I want to go back out to this point and go straight up to that side right there and look in this right triangle and ask for the tangent of theta. Well, the tangent of theta is going to be the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side, which is going to be this side to 1, which is just this side. So that side happens to be tangent theta. Let's see if I can write sideways here. That's tangent theta. So look what I have. I have theta right here trapped in between sine theta and tangent theta. So I can write a little inequality. Now look at how nice this comes out when I write that inequality. I have sine theta less than theta, less than tangent theta. All right? So I have sine theta, less than theta, less than tangent theta. And tangent theta is sine theta over cosine theta. Now I'm going to divide each, three, each of these three members right here by sine theta. Look what happens when I do that. This becomes 1. This is theta over sine theta. That's the expression I'm trying to find the limit for. And this is 1 over cosine theta. Because tangent theta is sine theta over cosine theta. When I divide by sine theta, those sine thetas divide out, and I'm left with 1 over cosine. OK, so as theta goes to 0, where does 1 go? Well, 1 goes to 1. Right? How about 1 over cosine theta? Well, as theta goes to 0, cosine theta goes to 1. So this goes to 1 over 1, which is 1. This expression right here is trapped in between these two expressions. So as theta goes to 0, these expressions go to 1. This expression right here must go to 1 also. So the answer to that problem, 1. And the trick is to draw a little diagram like this and try to trap theta in between two things that I can find these limits for. And then if they go to the same number, then that expression that I have in the middle must go to that number also. So there's one more limit we get out of this. I just want to write that down because these limits come up a lot. The limit as theta goes to 0 of not theta over sine theta, but the reciprocal sine theta over theta. As theta goes to 0, sine theta over theta, where is it going to go? Well, if it's reciprocal, theta over sine theta goes to 1, then this must also go to 1. So I actually get two limits out of that, and these turn out to be limits that show up from time to time in the work that we're going to do, whether it's theta over sine theta or sine theta over theta. Either one of those, as theta goes to zero, those limits go to one.